is it finally quiet? Can I record? So this basement whistles when the, when the wind is blowing. So I, it's, you can't, you just can't do a video. It's just constant, constant. I gotta figure that out. What's up YouTube? Today we're going to look at some different softwares for getting rid of noise in our images. We've got uh, Lightroom has a denoise AI. They've also got their sliders. Photoshop has reduced noise filters. Um, Luminar Neo has a noiseless AI function. Um, Topaz Labs used to have a denoise AI app. And, and a photo AI app, and now photo AI 2 is out, or it came out in September, and it kind of combined Sharpen AI and Denoise AI and Photo AI into one AI 2. So we're gonna look at that, that's pretty exciting. And Nick Collection 5 has a filter. I haven't bought six yet. If you think I should get six, please let me know. So I shot this photo in Washington, D.C at ISO 3200. It's, uh, I know it's not the most exciting photo in the world, but it offers some really good case studies into what we're trying to look at today. Uh, number one, concrete is gray, and so color noise stands out uh, like a sore thumb. You can see it pretty well in all the shadows and in the, uh, just the concrete everywhere. Uh, second of all, there's text. Text is really important because uh, sometimes denoise AI does weird stuff to text. Um, second, concrete has texture. And so like right up here in the top, in the roof, there's texture, little air pockets in the concrete and denoise AI will sometimes wipe out texture in addition to the color and the grain. Next, there's some saturated lights in the back here. Um, Denoise will often desaturate colors that should not be desaturated. And here in the floor, there's a very subtle, faint pattern that kind of falls apart as you get further back. But here you can see pretty well that it is um, these, this tile floor with tons of color noise. We'll see what the AI does with all of this. It's very tricky, very tricky stuff. And then of course, lots of shadows. We'll see what it does with all of these shadows and grain. But yeah, it's a great photo to, uh, to see what we got. Let's look at Lightroom sliders first. I have that on the left and then the raw file on the right. So let's see what we got. We've got some stain in the concrete here. It looks pretty good. It's about what you'd expect, right? Like this is kind of what the sliders do. They clean it up pretty well without affecting the image too much. Here is the Denoise AI. We're familiar with this. Uh, it's a relatively recent update by Adobe. It's, I guess it's been out for a little while now. Everyone's pretty familiar with it. It is astonishing to say the very least. Like it just looks absolutely fantastic all the time in every way. So we see a very tricky bit. Text is very tricky and it's held on to text super well. Um, this tile floor is super tricky and it's held on to it super well, surprisingly well, as you can see. Um, saturation in the lights remains there. Like it just looks fantastic. Um, all the noise and the shadows here are gone while not wiping out too much of the texture and detail. Let's look at some of the roof texture. Um, yeah, so you can see these little air pockets. It holds on to super well. So, I mean, if you already have Lightroom, this is kind of the best option. Not kind of, like it, it just is. If you've already got it, you may as well keep it. Like it's just fantastic. I think it's $10 a month for the photography plan or something along those lines. 
So yeah, just all around super great. Most everything after this is gonna be worse. Um, one is gonna be about the same, so stay tuned for that, which is pretty exciting. Let's look at DxO's Define 2. This is from Nick Collection 5. It's, you know, maybe I should get the 6. Maybe the 6 is significantly better, but this is about the same as the uh, Lightroom sliders. Maybe a little bit better than the Lightroom sliders, um, but it's certainly not on the level of Denoise AI or Lightroom's AI, but it does a good job. It's, you know, solid, solid. Well done. It looks good. Let's look at Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI. So here we have quite a bit of color still lingering. Um, it holds on pretty well to the pattern and the floor. The text looks okay. It's not trying too hard with the text. There's still saturation in the lights. Um, the texture is a little bit wiped out. It wipes out some of the texture in the concrete. It gets rid of most of the grain. However, most of the color noise is still lingering. Luminar Neo is a super cool product and there are lots of good reasons to get Luminar Neo. I don't think this is one of them. So Topaz Labs had a Denoise AI app that no longer exists because of Photo AI 2, which came out in September. This one, I think, is just barely worse than Lightroom's Denoise AI. Yeah, just barely worse. Like, it looks fantastic. Um, you lose some of the saturation of the lights in the back. That's really its main, uh, my main gripe with it, I guess, is it kind of chops that red light and the blue light and the signs down here to nothing, to a pretty desaturated look. Otherwise, I think it's fantastic. It's really, really nice. Let's see. But I think, you know, Topaz Labs discovered that we don't really know who this product is for. It operates super nice as a Photoshop plugin, but most people who have Photoshop also have Lightroom. And so you may as well be uh, using Lightroom's Denoise AI. And so this, is kind of useless even though it is a great product um, but they fixed that by i think combining everything into photo ai 2. so just for the sake of historical reference let's look at photo ai 1 the first edition before it became number two and uh it's wild <laughs> it's it's just wild it turns the walls into plastic and the text gets super weird the uh, the floor turns into a clay cloud. It, it handles the saturation, so that's pretty cool. Most of the grain is gone. Most of the texture is gone. Yeah, it's just wild. <laughs> it's amazing. So it's, it's quite jaw-dropping when we see what AI2 does. Um, this is AI2, and it holds on to the texture super well. It gets rid of the color noise. It holds the saturation in the lights in the back. It holds the detail in the floor super nicely. It's incredible. The text is not absurd. The walls look good. The shadows look good. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is as good or even, yeah, it's just as good, maybe slightly better than Lightroom. Denoise AI, and I guess I would give it a slight nod to this one over Lightroom simply because it's a lot faster. You click on Denoise AI and it takes like two minutes-ish, or depending on your computer, of course, but it can take, it can take a little bit of time. Um, this one is much faster. So there you go, that's pretty much a wrap, guys. I think the Photo AI 2 is the best Denoise software out there right now, simply because it's so much faster than Lightroom Denoise. Um, however, the product, the end product is comparable. And if you already have Lightroom, you may as well just keep going with Lightroom. Unless the speed is really irksome, then you, I would get the Photo AI 2, which operates nicely as a Photoshop plugin or a Lightroom plugin anyway. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for hanging out. Take care out there.